With the return of a few jungle tanks into the meta, I have been able to play them more frequently during stream and I've been able to introduce some viewers to a whole new style of play. I have constantly done a certain team fighting tactic in which I CC a target and then leave them alone as I chase someone else and stab at them while my teammates kill the CC target. This technique has no name but Foxtrap and I call it shepherding. Basically put, you toss your crowd control onto one of the kill targets and immediately reposition yourself to either scare off the other opponents or crowd control them, you know, keep them locked down and basically control their movements or prevent their escape. This is a very helpful tactic to master as it helps guarantee you donate kills to your carries and you do not waste more resources than needed when you're killing a target. It is a simple subject, but you will be surprised by how many players do not actually do this. I got a lot of questions in my videos and in my comment box when they saw me play as Nautilus and they were questioning, oh, why, you know, do you get kills or how come I feed? This is one of the big reasons why. I know how to position myself better. The tank usually has pitiful damage, so it's always better to spend your time finding someone else to lock down or bouncing between targets in order to protect your teammates and set up kills. There is no point in standing there dealing 100 or 200 damage when your teammates could deal twice or three times that amount if they were simply able to position themselves better or get a lock on the target and you could have been helping them achieve that if you know you moved around and quite use your CC on the right targets. I hope you noticed in the footage that in team fights and ganks I ignored the enemy champions that were surely going to die to my teammates to make sure I could capture and pin down a target that could potentially escape during the chaos. I also spent my crowd control on any nearby target that I got close to my teammates so my teammates would get some free damage on them while they were CC'd. I mostly did this only after the main target was killed. I know it's a simple subject, but I've seen too many tank players just water around doing nothing of value after their first combo of crowd control was used. I've also seen players use their crowd control on someone who was already going to die, thus making that CC worthless. Either way, this is important to learn as it will help lead into another subject that I will cover in another video called Zone of Influence or Zone of Threat. The name doesn't really matter because it just depends on what you call it, but it, basically it's about zoning and zoning during fights and this is something very important tank players need to learn.